When you think of carrots, you probably think about carrot bottoms, but did you know that carrots are also tops? Let's spend time with Marco, but the food is the star, so it's probably worth sharing. Hello, I'm Marco, and welcome to my home kitchen. In today's video uh, celebrating Pride Month, I want to show you a new way to think about carrots, to love the whole carrot for what it is. Uh, and in doing so, I'm going to teach you how to make carrot pesto, which is really delicious and can be used on carrots. It's also really great on toast um, as a dip. It is delicious. There are a lot of ways you can spin the ingredients here. I'm using carrot tops. You could also use beets, radishes, or turnips. All of uh, those bottoms are tops too. You need some kind of a nut. I'm using toasted almonds. You could use walnuts, pistachios, pine nuts, whatever you have. The juice of a lemon, about 150 grams of Parmesan cheese, a couple of cloves of garlic, depending on how spicy you want to make things, and then some kind of green. I'm using about a cup of frozen spinach, but you could also use basil, arugula, mint, whatever you have. You'll also need about half a cup of olive oil and some salt and pepper. The first step is to wash the carrot tops. To do that, you don't want too much of the thick stock portion, so you can cut it a couple of inches above the main carrot. Next, you want to put them into a bowl of cold water. It's important to fully submerge the carrot tops in water because they're growing in a field and these are a lot of really fine leaves. You can get a lot of dirt in there. So make sure to um, shake them really well. You might want to clean the water a couple of times and then just leave the dirt to fall to the bottom. Now you want to dry them off. You can use a salad spinner. I'm going to put them on a clean cloth here. I hope you can see on camera just how much dirt is sitting in this water. You really need to wash your carrot tops. Okay, everything is clean and dry. I want to show you this part that's too thick. Um, that's not gonna fit in our pesto. I'm going to use my food processor. You could also do this in a blender, but you'll have to really use the tamper and scrape down the sides. So this will be easier if you have one. Into the food processor goes one bunch of washed carrot tops, half a cup of toasted nuts, 150 grams of Parmesan cheese, one cup of frozen spinach, two cloves of garlic, juice of a lemon, about half a cup of olive oil, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and some black pepper. and run this for one or two minutes. Insert pusher. My food processor insisted it needs to be this way. So you'll see that this is going up the sides of the food processor and when that happens you just want to scrape it down that's really all there is to it you can see it has a pretty thick texture at this point so you can thin it out with some additional olive oil or some water if it needs it and then make sure you taste it for uh, seasoning, um, see if it needs anything. Mm, it's so tasty. Carrots are related to parsley, but they don't speak anymore. So you, you get a bit of that parsley flavor, but it's mostly just this like really nice, luscious, green, pesto-y flavor. So I cooked the carrot bottoms in some olive oil, salt, and pepper, so they got a nice little char on the outside, but they're still a little bit crunchy in the middle. And I'm just going to put some of the carrot pesto on top. Now let's try the carrot tops and the carrot bottoms together. It works really well together because the carrots have this deep earthy flavor and a bit of char and fattiness from being pan fried. 
and then you get this bright green zesty punch from the pesto. I don't know why I haven't made this dish before, but it is amazing. You should eat the whole carrot. I hope you make this because outside of all of the jokes, it is legitimately delicious. You can use this dish to have some conversations with the people in your life where maybe they don't know that you support the whole carrot. So tell them that you love them and you support them no matter who they are. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please like, please subscribe, it means a lot, and I will see you in the next video. So it's probably worth sharing. Should have taken a picture of this before I ate it.